Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Before attempting to break boards, make sure you get the proper training first. This should be in a gym with Taekwondo masters, the black belt Dans that have been training for many, many years and know exactly what they're doing. This is Carlos Martin, fifth Dan black belt, two-time European champion and president of the Spanish Taekwondo Association. With him is Maxi Montiel, second Dan black belt and also European champion. They're going to show you how to break a board with the sidekick. Taekwondo is an ancient fighting system which makes optimal use of the human body and laws of physics. This can be seen most clearly in board breaking. Breaking, say some, was traditionally used to condition the hands and feet to toughness. Because in the absence of weapons such as swords, Korean warriors needed to be able to land a killer blow with one strike. Today, it's commonly used in testing for promotion of a belt. If all the elements of power are there, speed, focus, form, most martial artists can break several boards at once. But listen up, only blue belts or above should attempt this break. Step 1. Preparation. Before having a go at breaking, it's important to make sure you're physically prepared to avoid hurting yourself. With the sidekick, the weapon of attack is the heel. Make sure you keep the angle between the foot and ankle at 90 degrees. And the target should be struck with a straight leg. To train in this technique, use a heavy bag or kick pad. Over time, this will strengthen your kicking muscles. Step 2. Practice. Before attempting an actual break, take some time to practice your focus. It cannot be overstated how important this is to the final break. Using plastic training boards is almost like the real thing, but you can break them as many times as you like. And put them back together again. Step 3. The break. Carlos is going to demonstrate the sheer power of the sidekick by breaking not one or two boards, but three. Ask some fellow masters or students to hold the boards and set them to the appropriate height. Level with the solar plexus is best because this is where your energy comes from. You'll see here that two people are required to hold the board, with three more giving support from the back. This is to absorb the impact of the kick and assist Carlos in making a clean break. Now get into the ready position where you need to begin activating your utmost concentration. Take a little time to measure the exact distance you need. He will use the extra step of the crossing sidekick as it has even more force than the stationary one. Return to the ready position one final time and focus on your small target area. This should be just a few centimeters squared. Now combine your focus, concentration and speed to break the board. And there you have it, the immensely powerful sidekick break, demonstrated by two of Europe's finest. Now take a look at the next film in our breaking series, the jumping front kick break right here on Video Jug.